how a Colorado woman bought a used EV for less than $700. She'd been driving a 1987 Subaru wagon until late last year when she noticed the return of a chronic oil leak. Well, she doesn't worry about the oil leak anymore. She got something from the state that was for low-income drivers who agreed to scrap an older or high emissions car, and her utility offered another rebate. Those discounts combined to seven grand. Most of these cars that are eligible for the rebate, nobody's ever even heard of them. I've done looking on like the Carvana website, and it shows all of the vehicles that are eligible across the country. There, there's even a Mercedes. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here today with founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How are you doing today, Bill? I am great. I got my walk in this morning, and they're tearing up my uh, sidewalk, putting in fiber optic cable. Oh, nice, nice. All right. Here's our main story for today. How a Colorado woman bought a used EV for less than $700. New electric vehicles can be expensive. Tax credits and other incentives help them make those purchases. But a woman in Colorado drove home from a dealership with a used EV for less than $700. This lady's name is Cindy Torres. She's located in Colorado. And she just got a 2015 Nissan Leaf. That's not super old. We're talking nine years old. Her final price to buy it was $652. (laughs) <laughs> it's just crazy. I have power steering. I have air conditioning. I have a heater. I have heated seats. I have a heated steering wheel. It's just ridiculous. She'd been driving a 1987 Subaru wagon until late last year when she noticed the return of a chronic oil leak. Well, she doesn't worry about the oil leak anymore. A replacement seemed like the best answer. She relies on a disability retirement program and couldn't spare more than a few hundred dollars. One morning I woke up and I was like, well, I'm just going to check the Boulder Nissan website. And it was like, you know, for 7600 bucks, That would have been way too expensive, but Colorado has some of the most generous EV incentives in the country. So we know she would have gotten the $4,000 federal, right? and then the rest of that came from the state of Colorado. And she got something from the state that was for low-income drivers who agreed to scrap an older or high-emissions car, and her utility offered another rebate. Those discounts combined to seven grand. New cars now parked outside her front garden. It only has 80 miles of range. That's all she needs for errands and trips to nearby trailheads. And that's really kind of crazy to think that getting a working car for under a thousand bucks. The other thing is not only no oil changes, but also the cost of the electricity, the fuel is a fra- is going to be a fraction of, of what she was putting into that uh, that Subaru. She doesn't strike me as somebody who is probably driving a whole lot. She gets disability payments. I mean, she's not driving to work. And so she really just needs to be able to get back and forth to run errands kind of thing. So it's probably one of these people that probably drives like, you know, 500 miles a month, if even that, you know, so probably not a real big deal. But yeah, if you want an electric car, price was a barrier. Now is the time to go and have a look. Yeah, certain states like California, Colorado, a few others, if you are low income, you know, where they have incentives on top of the $4,000 used EV credit. And get pretty nuts because we've talked about some of these, um, you know, like the Cadillac ELR and some of the other vehicles that are out there for a song. Most of these cars that are eligible for the rebate, nobody's ever even heard of them. You know, maybe the Leaf is a common one, but there's so many of them out there that I've done looking on like the Carvana website and it shows all of the vehicles that are eligible across the country. There, There's even a Mercedes that fits in there that I'd never seen before. And it looks goofy for a Mercedes. Okay. It is not a real. I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But there's so many like plug in hybrids and full electric cars that qualify. And so many of them were only made like between 2014 and 2016. But still, what was the age of hers? It was 2015. And it just fits right in there now. Obviously, Nissan's still been making the Leaf. The Leaf is still out there. And a one year old Leaf even is an exceptional deal. Because you can get those under twenty five thousand dollars and add the four grand, but if you're somewhere and you get these other benefits, it's it's a pretty big deal. Yeah, there's been a spate of articles uh, recently about the Hertz cars, and uh, they're talking, you know, on the, and you go look and you get these cars are, they're I think the most of them are around forty thousand miles or so on them. They're twenty two and twenty three models. Uh, and they're uh, twenty five thousand one sixty five. You know, numbers. Numbers like that, uh, and, but since it's a used car, you get that four thousand. Assuming the IRS 
pays the dealer the four thousand. But anyway, you get that four thousand, you know, dollars. So now you're talking twenty one hundred bucks or twenty twenty one thousand dollars for a car that uh, is only a couple of years old, has you know less than fifty thousand miles on it. That I think is 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 a deal if you're looking to get in get into an EV. So. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.